Alright people and I'm back to do another hair video and this is by the Janet Collection. This is their Retro Glam and Vibe um, hair collection that brings it back to the 70s. So first of all you can pick this up especially if you live in New York they are called Field Beauty supply store and they have 15 locations in New York. One which I am very familiar with because of course I am from Queens, New York and that is on Jamaica Ave. So if you ladies are out there who are in um, Queens and are very familiar with Jamaica Ave where there's loads of stores from shopping to eateries then make sure you check their um, store out. I will post the information below but they have like this huge selection of hair and like I said they have 15 locations in New York as well as as that as I will post all of their information below for you guys so that you can check them out so I did get two packs of this and I already taken it out because what I did was I actually sold the clips on so this is a self fit clip and you can either sew this into your hair as wefting tracks or you can clip it into your hair for a fuller look the one that I have here is the um, 4B crimpy kinky in the length of 18 inches in a color number two. Now, first of all, let's get into the packaging. This is like retro grant glam. There are different styles to this collection, but I'm liking the actual packaging a whole, whole lot. On the back, it does tell you natural hair type. So as you can see, there's 3A, B, 3C, 4A through 4C. So if you know your hair texture, then or your hair type then a chart on the back will help you it does come with two clips and unfortunately I had to sew in some of my own clips now there are two bundles in this actual packaging it is virgin hair and it does say 100% natural virgin human hair so of course this is from Janet collection and they make a lot of nice um, items so now first of all I did get two packs like I stated and they are super long tracks like just like regular wefting tracks, they are single wefted tracks though. Um, and being that they are not cut apart, but they do come with clips, like I said, you can either clip it in that um, are provided for you or you can sew it in. So I decided to do some clippings with this and being that the tracks were really long, you know, the normal length, what I did was I kept them folded in four so that way I wouldn't have to cut anything. So I took each bundle because like I said, each package comes with two bundles and I just folded them like this and sold them together and then sold the clips onto them. So all in all, I have four of these in the color two, and these are super tight curls. So I try to mimic the hair as best as possible with my own hair texture. So what I used was some of the uh, Lotta Body Love Me 5-in-1 Miracle Styling Cream, and I'm pretty sure you can get this right from Feel Beauty, um, Beauty Supply Store. I'm pretty sure they have this. This is a beauty supply store, so they probably have loads and loads and loads of stuff. So, yes, Feel Beauty. Feel Beauty Supply. Like I said, you probably could pick this up amongst many other products. I like beauty supply stores because you can find everything there from makeup to accessories to hair to hair care products. So, yes, I like beauty supply stores, especially those that are like in my hood. Okay, and the prices are always reasonable. So like I said, I went ahead and I kept them like this. I folded them and I just tried my best to mimic the hair as best as possible. The only leave-up that I have is for the top and the sides. The rest of my hair is braided because the hair is so thick. Once you pull it apart, you won't be able to see the spaces or any missing hair. So let's get on with this tutorial. And like I said, I will post all the information for you girls below. Okay, ladies, so the braids that I'm showing here is just going to be my leave out as well as the perm rods. And I'm going to attempt to get my hair to somewhat resemble this crimpy, curly hair by the Janet Collection. So I'm just going to go ahead and clip them on. I really don't need any leave out in the back area because the hair is so full. And once I fluff it up and finger comb it, you won't see any of my own natural hair. And you won't also see any portion of my scalp. So that is how full the hair is. The tracks are really long. And like I said, it is single wefted tracks. So that's the reason for me just folding it four times and leaving it as it is. Because there are just single wefted tracks. Now, as you see, I'm just going to go ahead and clip these in, and I did have to use some of my own clips. The package only comes with two clips. It is a self-clipping method, but like I said, you can sew these in your hair if you want to, which is awesome because it's a lot affordable than hair that you would get like from an actual 
website or vendor. The Jana Collection makes all hair very, very affordable. And Phil Beauty Supply has like a humongous supply of all types of wigs, weaves, braiding hair, ponytails, makeup, hair supply products that you could use hair accessories they have 15 locations like i said in new york and that is the one thing that i miss a lot about being home in new york city is all of those great beauty supply stores they, they're very limited up here in um, arizona so i do go to one and i really do miss that a lot at the beauty supply stores you can get just about basically everything and it's so affordable you can just go ham in those stores so i do like the beauty supply stores a lot so i did spray some lot of body five in one styling cream this is great just to get a different texturize a texture or loosen your curls or, or untangling so i'm just going to unbraid this right here and this is basically going to go back onto my hair because i really didn't even need a lot of leave out because the hair is so full so as you see this is the way my hair came out and i should have did it different um I used to do it totally different when I would do my half wigs to get it to look more or less like a really tight curl. But these are uh, more crimpy curls and the texture is a lot different from my own hair. So it was kind of hard for me to blend it in. So I went ahead and just braided that portion right here that you see me doing now because that was supposed to be my leave out. But being that the hair is so full, I really didn't even hardly need any leave out. So I just went ahead and braided my hair and tucked it back underneath the hair and pinned it down. So I'm going to go and move the track over and just try to situate this. This would really look cute in a ponytail and that this may be something that I'll do is take it apart or basically just unsew the tracks because I did sew the tracks together or basically as I left it folded I just sewed it so that way it wouldn't separate. But what I'll probably do is unsew it and just wrap it around my own natural ponytail and give myself like an afro ponytail which would probably look really cute being that it's so hot out here that would probably look really cute but if you have hair texture that is more or less like this here this would be like a great alternative or a protective style or even if you wanted to do some clippings but feel beauty supply like i said they have 15 locations in new york and one of my favorite places that they are set up at is on Jamaica Avenue in Queens. So yes, girls, make sure you check them out. And I'm going to show you the finished look because I got kind of tired of fighting with it. You can see my hair didn't really blend that well. So yes, let's just continue on with this video. Okay, ladies, so I am done. So I will be honest and tell you, I have like, you know, a challenge, a bit of a challenge with this particular, particular hair texture, hair type. And unfortunately, my hair texture is not that. I did put in perm rods, which were these. I used setting lotion. I used this. I had it set for some time, but my curls did not come out tight like I expected. And I even used the really small ones too. So it didn't come out as I expected. So what I did instead of biting and fighting to tooth and nail and because it is so retro glam and vibe back to the 70s and it's more or less like an afro I decided to put on a wide lace headband I thought this looked really really cute and groovy with it because for one it kind of goes with the blouse that I'm wearing today which is in the same color scheme family and it kind of gives me like that old school retro glam 70s vibe yes I was born in the 70s 1974 okay yes hunties yes but let me tell you the whole concept of this is so cute so i don't know if i want to leave it like this and keep it as tracks or sew it into a u part i'm not really sure i do like wearing it with the headband because it gives me just like this totally different look and i love the texture of it probably be so cute in a ponytail you can make it into a ponytail if you wanted to whatever have you but jenna collection comes up comes out with a whole bunch of new things and this i do like it a lot um it's just that my hair texture is not like it so i worked it the best that i could by wearing a headband but i do think this is retro glam 70s okay yes mm. 
Now all I need is like some really big platform shoes, some bell bottoms, and then I'll be good to go. Like seriously, I kind of when I when I see my hair like this, I think about my mom because I look at her old pictures. Um, when she was like 20 years old, when she had me, and she had like this big hair, and my mom's hair is more or less like this texture and this hair type, and she would have it in like this big afro with her bell bottoms on and her glasses and she just looks so beautiful and it just reminds me of that looking at her pictures it just reminds me of that a lot you know what i'm saying back in the 70s so this is the look that i came up with this hair you can check out field beauty supply there are 15 locations in new york i will post all of their information below for you girls I love Jamaica app. If you girls know what I'm talking about, then leave your comments below. But I like, I love, I love, love, love Jamaica app. Everything is like so cheap and inexpensive over there. So yes. And I am pretty sure, 100% sure that you can find some really retro like headbands like this at Phil Beauty Supply as well. Because it is a beauty supply store. And what beauty supply store don't sell no headbands? Okay. And on that note, stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up if you want to. And I'll See you guys on my next video.